Hello guys, Shadow Fire here. So in the last video we created our enemy, so it chases us around. And now we're gonna boat uh let's add some polish to it. So whenever I jump I want to have a squish effect. And we and we're gonna implement jumping on top of the enemy and killing him. So let's get to that. Alright, so here we are in the code. So we want to add a squish effect. So we're just gonna grab his scale. Let's scale him down a bit. So let's go right about here. So right whenever we press jump, we want to change our scale to be like the weird offset. So let's say new vector three. Let's set it to 0 0.05 and 1.5. Then 0 0.05 on y. Um z. So x y z. So we're squishing stretching. Oops. Right, and then right after that you want to outside of that function you want to set the scale back to one but we're gonna use a lerp so we could say scale and we want to set it to be new vector 3 and make that be all ones one one oh all right and let's give it some random like the Delta uh, and four and this should be casted as a float or f that's the delta first then or oops and all right that should be it. so let's save and go back here we jump go a cool squish effect all right so now we want to find out if uh we're touching the enemy so let's go on the enemy first and we're gonna set its collision to be its own layer. So we're gonna name these. So let's go in the project settings and find physics. Let's call the first layer world, second layer player, and third layer enemies. Or let's just enemy. Close that down. So the enemy should be that one and it interacts with the world and the player. That. And maybe itself as well. Why not? Because others can they can touch each other. And then on the player now, set him to be where is it? Collision self and equalize it everybody. World enemy and self. So we should turn it off. Because we're gonna create an area and then we're gonna use that to check when the player is um touching the enemy if he's jumping. So let's tap area 3D. Add a collision shape, collision shape, and the round shape. Make that a bit smaller than usual. Get about there, and you could set it to be enemy hit area. Why not? So we're gonna disable and enable this thing every time. So let's set it to off by default. All right, now let's go back in the script, and we need to get a reference to that. So public uh, area. 3D enemy let's call it the same hit area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect um down here. Let's go enemy hit area hit area equals get node and we named it enemy hit area. Alright. So let's do a check here. So we're creating this function, uh what could we call it? Um Hit enemy, hit enemy, enemy, or jump on enemy or something. Hit enemy. Let's just go with hit enemy. So we need to pass pass in uh, physics body, body 3D, body, public void. Oops. All right. So would say if body that has has method maybe die for example we're gonna create that in the um in the enemy we're gonna call it and then return so let's see body that die yeah wait. oh i got one important thing see the enemy let's create that function for this is my uh um gd script kicking in or but it's not necessarily 
devar anyways let's go over here and create a die function die so what we're gonna do here we're gonna animate them so let's first stage is current state equals state 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 dot die all right and now we need to create a um update die function up here where we have update the case state dot die state die i wrote it wrong but this is update die all right so what we're gonna do here we could either just quick frame but we want to call that afterwards so we're gonna use a tween to do that so to make a tween you say tween equals create tween each node can make its own tween or we could use get tree to create the tween as well so create tween call it tw so the reason i'm using a tween here we want to call quee free after we squish him so it's going to get squished first and then he dies afterwards so we could say tw dot tween property and then we say uh, this dot scale slash scale not slash come on and the value we want is a new vector three we want to switch them pretty small so let's say 0.25 and actually for the x and z we want to stretch it so it's the y that we're squishing so let's say maybe 1.5 for the x and then 0.25 for the y and then uh, same thing for the z so 1.5 let's make it happen pretty fast this is how many seconds so let's put it maybe 0.2 seconds and that should be good now we need a tween callback so let's say tween at tween callback and right here we need to make a callable so callable then from we're going to use a lambda function open close brackets equal sign and then that and we free and close them up that should be that all right so let's test this out go back to here leave oh we need to do one more thing the character we need to enable that um area whenever he jumps and whenever he's touching the floor we need to disable it again so let's look for on the player look for jumping whenever i jump i want to get the enemy hit area that monitoring monitoring equals true then let's grab copy this here look for wherever he's on the floor i oh, could put it right here my turn equals false right before so false if he's not on the floor yeah that should work let's see let's just try it out and see what happens completely forgot about setting up the actual uh where is it actual area uh it's a signal so we need to get the unbody entered signal and what did we call it in the editor here so player enemy hit copy go back here so right here we change it to enemy hit so it's con it's finding this function on the character script save that if it works now oh also need to set its collision be the enemy it works but it's a bit sensitive let's go to enemy or player let's move this guy down a little bit and i think the enemy's collision shape is a bit high yeah it's way above his head so let's scale him down scale this guy down he down move it down a bit let's save that player and Try this again. Oh, I see. We need to set this to true if he's not on the floor. Just say it's always doing it. Oh, and if I hit the enemy, I also want to jump again. So the way I could do this is grab the velocity. Let's see here. See, I'm creating this velocity here. I want to change it to be outside of the class. All right, so now that I have the velocity outside, I could just adjust it here. So let's first say velocity but why? We're gonna use the jump velocity. So let's say jump velocity, setting it to jump, and then we grab that velocity again. 
the built-in velocity and set it this happens pretty quick so let's go back over here go to and let's check on that real quick so whenever it says bouncing on his head there you go beautiful that's about it so let's quickly add out a few more guys and then we could kill off all of them this is gonna get messy so we need to add these to our node so let's create a base node then throw all the enemies on you have to do one other thing as well so we need to get parent twice because we're get we're now on this node so let's say enemies all right let's just use those four for now Let me show you what i'm talking about when we grab the character we need to first get parent and get parent again and get node all right so let's go back here let's go out and be. I need to fix the animation. So, and all right, and that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're gonna just do some particle effects and maybe coins, stuff like that. So, by the way, the reason the enemies were walking in place because I had just velocity at length here, I changed it to be only the velocity to x and z instead of the including the gravity so it was not being less than zero like and subscribe guys take care thanks for watching